I don't know what it is about Nintendo Switch 2, guys. It just... It makes me so excited to really talk about it. And especially when we're at this point, not necessarily talking about the specs or any sort of technical basis and what they might do with the UI. And that stuff's exciting to talk about, but we need something more tangible before we can really work on that. At this point, I've just internally accepted that Nintendo Switch 2 is launching in 2024. But what's exciting now is figuring out when that's going to be. And it looks like a developer, an actual game developer that's known for making a lot of Nintendo games might have actually leaked or I don't want to say leaked, maybe more hinted exactly when we can expect Nintendo Switch 2 to launch. And then the crazy thing is an actual major Nintendo published game likely happening next year based on a new rumor also might have just reaffirmed that Nintendo Switch 2 is coming next year because the game is coming to Switch 2. Yes, folks, we have a rumor. We have a dev thing. What are we doing? How's it going? Let's just dive right in. And first, we're starting with something we put into a Prime News episode yesterday, but didn't give it its proper fleshing out. And that is, what the hell is going on with Level 5? So Level 5 unveiled an event yesterday that included three major games to see pretty big delays, all games in which were announced and slated for Nintendo Switch. Now, game delays are normal, and we typically wouldn't put a ton of stock into them, but one delay in particular does deserve some extra attention, and you're already seeing the game on screen, Fantasy Life I, The Girl Who Steals Time. It has been moved from 2023 to summer of 2024. Now, again, a delay like that doesn't really have to mean anything and might just create some wishful thinking. However, the problem isn't that the game was delayed, it's what Level 5's literal boss said about the game. We have an exact release date picked already, but we cannot reveal it right now for strategic reasons. Now, interesting to say the least, because the game was already slated for Switch and several other platforms already announced. Summer in the Northern Hemisphere, where they are located, is right around June 20th slash 21st through about September 22nd to 23rd. Now, he also had some other interesting comments that he threw out there. Things like when asked about the platforms or talking about the platforms for this game, he just sort of said to be announced, which I think is interesting because if you think about the platforms, they already announced the platforms. It's coming to PlayStation and Xbox and PC and Switch. So now suddenly, why are the platforms up in the air? And why is there a strategic reason that you're not giving us the exact release date, even though you know and I've already picked out and like you know when the game's coming? You can give us a release date, but you're not for a strategic reason with platforms that will be announced later. I, I think it's quite obvious at this point, and, and this is where the internet has run rampant and gone crazy, that yes, they're probably waiting for the reveal of Nintendo Switch 2, so then they can reveal the announce date, announce the platforms, build some hype around this game, it being likely a cross-generation title from a third-party developer, level 5 for Nintendo Switch and for Nintendo Switch 2. Again, I don't think they're going to abandon the Switch because it was already announced for that, but I do think they want to build hype for this game with Switch 2. And again, you're seeing the game. It doesn't look like it's a game that necessarily needs Switch 2, like needs super powerful hardware, but it certainly isn't going to hurt. Maybe you can get, you know, higher resolutions, higher frame rates. Maybe they throw ray tracing in. We don't really know, but it's pretty exciting just to think that Level 5, a massive partner company for Nintendo, might have actually... Uh, sort of hinted exactly when Switch 2 is coming out. Well, at least a time frame window. Now, that does get us talking about when the heck Nintendo Switch 2 is going to be unveiled. And we have a new rumor from a very credible place that's dealing with a big Nintendo published game that's supposedly heading to Switch 2 next year. Oh boy, we'll talk about that in a moment. First, I just want to say, hey, everyone. Thank you so much for being here. If you're really enjoying the content, I would appreciate it if you would subscribe to the channel and drop a like on this video. Maybe leave a comment below letting me know what you think about these rumors and speculation slash leak stuff today. Oh, by the way, if you subscribe, get some free Oreo cookies, baby. 
Look, they're raining down right now. Don't let them hit you in the head. But hey, hey, they're free. So now we get to go ahead and talk about Pokemon. That's right. I certainly didn't think we'd be talking about Pokemon and Switch 2 anytime soon. But we are. So you know what, editor? Put in some of that footage. Let's get into this. Central Leaks, the self-proclaimed biggest source of Pokemon leaks, rumors, and news, put something out there about the next mainline Pokemon game that actually deals with Switch 2. So they posted about Pokemon Day 2024, noted an announcement from the Pokemon company yesterday that confirms celebrations will be happening and Pokemon Day in general is happening in 2024. Of course, the actual announcement by the Pokemon company really only talked about Pokemon Horizons the series, which is the new animated series run of the Pokemon show. And yeah, that's cool. And yes, it will likely debut or at least be teased on Pokemon Day. However, we know Pokemon Day isn't just any one specific thing. It's often a streamed event with several announcements. Central Leaks stated in their tweet about it, a new main series Pokemon game is expected to be announced that day. Now, on the surface, you could say this isn't really much. We expect a new mainline game. Noting mainline isn't just a new generation, but could be a Legends game, a Let's Go game, a remake, remaster, really because we just didn't get one this year. But Central Leaks didn't just stop there, because again, this is an expectation we already have. Someone asked them in the comments if the game hardware at the time of the new release would be a Switch or a successor. So they're basically saying, hey, is this thing going to be on Nintendo Switch or is it going to be on Nintendo Switch 2? Central Leaks simply responded and said, both. Now, with that response, someone was concerned that it might actually be Switch 2 only, and Central Leaks did go on to say, no, it's also going to be on Switch and Switch OLED. So I, I find this to be quite interesting, of course, but hey, Central Leaks isn't Nintendo, and they're not the Pokemon company, and while they are literally one of the most well-known resources for reliable Pokemon leaks on planet Earth, we don't have any idea if they're just saying this stuff is going to happen with knowledge or if they're just speculating. I think we all expect a Pokemon game announced at Pokemon Day 2024, but it's the part where they confidently say the game will be on Switch and Switch 2 by the time it comes out that just kind of feels different, simply because it doesn't come off as a guess. It seems pretty emphatic. If there is any weight to this, it does suggest the first exclusive Nintendo published game that will be on Switch 2 that we may actually see is Pokemon in February. But the odd thing is, if it is a cross-generation title, which is neat and does confirm Nintendo will be doing a lot more cross-generation stuff if true, if it's even shown in February, would Nintendo dare to reveal the Nintendo Switch 2 before then? Current speculation is a March reveal, but we really don't have any clue when Nintendo will reveal the system. It's just a guess. If they decide to show it in January, that could set up Pokemon Day for them to talk about a Switch 2 version of the brand new game and what the differences are between those versions. But... When all of this is combined with the fact that Level 5 may be holding back on revealing a release date for the reveal of Switch 2 along with confirming all the platforms, hinting it might arrive in summer of 2024, that really does open up the entire first three months of next year as a likely reveal window. Imagining we could be less than two months from Nintendo, showing Switch 2 is pretty exciting. Now again... A lot of speculation with some evidence and some new rumors out there. It's kind of crazy to think that we are in the midst of probably heading into a Switch 2 launch next year. And I, I keep using these words probably, likely, maybe, assumedly, rumor. Because again, none of this stuff is coming directly from Nintendo. Granted, Central Leaks is a pretty good place to rely on for Pokemon information. And yeah, level five, they factually said these things. And so we're just sort of extrapolating what those things might mean because they're not going to extrapolate because they can't extrapolate. So it's kind of interesting to think about. Obviously, we know what Shintura Furukawa said at the last investors meeting where he was trying to shoot down and calm down some rumors heading into the holidays. But hey, you know what? Uh, that doesn't mean that things aren't going to happen quite 
quickly next year. And Nintendo does keep confirming they're making new hardware. They confirmed it back in 2021. They've restated it in several investors' meetings. Even the last investors' meeting, when they seemingly denied Switch 2 rumors, they also said, if you read the Q&A, we are currently working on new hardware. We're always working on new hardware. So Nintendo isn't like pretending they don't have something coming. They just wanted to try to, you know, quell the the rumor mill and and all the reports so they could focus on selling Nintendo Switches. But once the turn of the calendar year and we're outside of the holiday period, and to be honest, Nintendo's fourth quarter sales are usually not that great in the first place when it comes to, uh, you know, just selling brand new systems. It's interesting if Nintendo might want to maybe start the new year early talking about Switch 2 in January. Again, I don't think that's what's going to happen, but I don't know, man. If there's a new Pokemon game that's going to be announced in February, even if it's a remake, remaster, Let's Go, Legends, whatever it is, and it's also going to have its own Switch 2 version, then it's possible that maybe that means Nintendo is going to talk about it at least before then, like at least have a teaser of it. I don't know, man. It's kind of crazy. All I know is I'm excited for 2024, and I've been saying this for a while. Sometime within the next five to six months, Nintendo's likely announcing Nintendo Switch 2. And, uh, man, that's exciting. I mean, let's put it this way. I My birthday's in July. I turned 38 then. I think we're going to get it unveiled before I turn 38. That's awesome. Thank you guys so much for being here. I am Nathaniel Rubblejance from Nintendo Prime, and I'll catch you in the next video.